look at this Easter Sunday 22 degrees mesh jackets on summer gloves are out bike needs a wash we're going to go out for a little quick spin and I'm going to talk about the little things I would change on the bike two little issues and they are very minor issues but we'll mention them and Trent has had his new nerf gun what's up my dude Right, now the first little issue I'm having is the side stand. What I'm finding is, is to kick the side stand down, my foot's getting stuck behind this peg. Let's try it again. I don't know if you can see. See, there's... I've never noticed it really much on the VFR. Let's try that again. So I seem to be getting caught on that. But it's nothing major, is it? It's probably just that my legs are that short. Actually, I've not got my earplugs in today, and it does sound quite nice, to be honest. Tell you what. I know it's no uh, fire blade, but it's got a nice little bit of, nice little bit of pull in it. So this is A2 license. Compliance. And you can throw it round corners and bends. Thank you. Thank you. And you can give it a bit of welly as well. Come on. Sun, blue sky, Easter Sunday. But I did notice when I picked the bike up on the motorway, the outside of my hand was aching because of the different position, but um, that's gone now, I'm used to that and I think that purely was just because I was in a different riding position where my muscle memory is the VFR I'll tell you what, you can throw this around anything so the things which I found with this bike. One, the kickstand. Seems to slightly get in the way of my foot. I don't know if that's just me or I'm doing it. It seems fine with my trainers on today. But when I got my bike boot on, obviously there's not a lot of movement in my ankle and I did seem to struggle with that a bit. And the second thing I would have changed would be the display. With it being black and glass, there's quite a lot of reflection in it, especially on a bright day. I think it would be far better if the screen was white and it had the black lettering. Oh, it's so good on corners. And to be honest with you, it depends on your riding style or if you're in a group riding you know what the style of that group is I mean for us none of us are young spring chickens in the motor of group and whenever we go out touring or riding 
you know, we generally stick to the speed limit 60 70 80 on the motorway that's it you know we're not we're not fast riders we don't hang about but we don't hoof it everywhere and this bike i think would be fine i would be happy with this bike i could chew on this i really could it's got enough poke i've not tried it with any luggage on it because i've not got any luggage for it but the position's great the brakes are phenomenal and to be honest with you the fuel consumption is amazing on it it's got enough poke in it so I think I think you could too on this a few people have said oh it's a great little commuter well, I think it's more than a commuter I wouldn't put this just down to a commuter and if you're not mental and a super fast rider this bike is ideal. Needs a wash. Yeah, easy. You can easily go on two on this bike. It's got enough power. It has. When you're touring, you know, you don't need mental power. You honestly don't need it. Especially if you're riding in a group. I'm trying to think if there's anything else this bike needs. It doesn't need all the mad, fancy extras and add-ons you know it's only a six grand bike oh they've done they've re at like this well that's better that corner was always dodgy there yeah it's kind of got everything you need i've got 12 volt power supply i do want to try adjusting that screen see what it's like with buffeting it's not too bad but i can i can hear the buffeting around here eye level i can hear it right by the ears so I'm pretty sure the screen is on this highest setting. So I might try lowering it. Sometimes lowering the screen stops the buffeting. If I had the money and the room in my garage, would I buy one? Yes, I would. I think it's an absolutely brilliant bike. It's got a small enough CC engine to give you that great fuel consumption. It's light enough to give that little bit of a punch when you're on it position's great the brakes are phenomenal on it the brakes are amazing and the cornering it's like it's on rails that's I'm just going to try different seat positions I normally sit quite far back so, uh, to be honest with you that it, it changes the feel of the bars more forward you sit I'll tell you what this is this feels easier to throw into a corner than my VFR does come on Mr Buzz because it's Easter I will let you have right of way still got to do the walk round on this bike this is just a little Sunday Easter ride out and to be honest with you it doesn't matter what the the road surface is like potholes bumps I have to try and avoid all this on the VFR it rattles my teeth to pieces because I've got the suspension set hard but on this it does just bounce over everything oh look at that goes around that oil and beautiful well I nearly messed it up then
it feels like a BMX. It feels like you could do bunny ups on it. And jump over, jump over cur curbs. Well, that's it. That's been all right for Easter. I'm still fitting the kitchen at the minute, so I was only allowed half hour. So, happy Easter everybody, from me and the CB500X, we'll see you on the wall crane video. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honda CB500X.